Good morning and welcome to the Tuesday morning devotional. I want to read and share a little bit from the book of Hebrews chapter 13. Hebrews 13, I'll give you a moment to get there. This morning, this scripture talks about what God is doing in your life and for us to be conscious of that. Hebrews 13, 20 and 21. I recently went through and marked out what are considered and what could be considered benedictions where a minister, a pastor, or anybody could read something in a worship service. It's somewhat of a blessing from God upon the people to each other and this is one and listen to what it says in Hebrews 13 20 and 21 now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead that great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you complete in every good work to do his will working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> so verse 20 is highlighting who God is and <clears throat> the power that God has. And then verse 21 moves into that power moving into your life. One of the things before I get started that I continue to notice and I try to point that out to everyone is obviously God could do everything He wants in a different way. That is, He could have done things completely different. I mean, a thousand different ways. One of them though that consistently important for us is that he did not make us literally perfect sinless the day that we came to know the Lord he did not do that for some reason the power of the resurrection in us is an ongoing process an ongoing project so listen to what it says that the God of peace can do and hopefully is doing. Verse 21, that he will make you complete in every good work to do his will. Working in you what is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So what we have is the fact that, number one, we're not complete. We're an ongoing project of the Lord. He's doing something in us. Uh, and I don't certainly don't suggest that's because it's so hard for Him to accomplish it. It's part of the rich work of God in our lives, the many layers of God's activity that we participate in and, I say, enjoy the discoveries of God's grace in us, the insights we get, the growth that happens that we can celebrate and observe. So we're not complete. We're always being worked on. I, there's a bumper sticker out there that says, please be patient with me. God is not finished with me yet, which is, there's truth there. Now, someone sent me or gave me years ago this little package of yellow construction tape. I believe it says under construction by God, something like that. 
that visual to say you're under construction, always under construction. So it says that he would make you complete in every good work. I believe all followers of Jesus, all disciples, born again, children of God, should be conscious that they are actually doing His work. Now obviously, uh, being part of a church and the opportunities within the church ministries, that's an obvious place to start. That's an obvious place to continue. But I believe it goes beyond that in your own life, being conscious of every good work. Uh, there's a passage in the scripture talking about dead works, meaning we think we're doing something for God, but the motivation is not right, and therefore the work we do does not add up to spiritual works. We need to be conscious of that. Make, make you complete in every good work to do His will. When I came to Christ, I eternally and in real time said, Lord, I want my life to count toward Your will. I was born, and I still struggle with, my own agenda. And I need to be following the agenda of God. His will. Now how do you uh, know His will? I wrote down some notes to myself about how you ought to scour the Bible, devour His Word. That's where you found out His will. You just, you're exposed to all of the historical, observable, actions of God, Genesis to Revelation. There's plenty there. I have no excuse for not knowing God's nature, His ways, His leanings. I have no excuse to say I don't have a clue. can't say that. In every good work, and incidentally on the good work, it says in Ephesians 2.10, we are saved by grace through faith. We are His workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works. We're saved to be capable of good works. We don't do good works to get saved. We always have to make that distinction. We are saved in order to serve Him with good works. And when we do good works, according to the Sermon on the Mount, when they see our good works, quote, they glorify our Father who is in heaven. My life, things I do and say, so those things ought to add up to people wanting to know who my Savior is who my God is. Working in you what is well-pleasing in His sight. We want to live a life that pleases Him. His sight. He sees. May what we do please Him. And of course, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. I remember memorizing early on in my Christian life, Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now the world says you can do anything and they don't say a word about God's power or God's will. The world sees human potential and there is human potential. We see it all around us. In fact, we're blessed by humans uh, fulfilling their potential. But a follower of Christ, to be truly 
a person that pleases God, then the things we do are through Jesus Christ. So that it doesn't narrow what we do to just a few things, but it does put it in perspective. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So that all the things I should be pursuing and doing, seeking to do, should be pleasing to God through Jesus Christ. A wonderful benediction now. May the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you complete in every good work to do His will, working in you what is well-pleasing in His sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Father, thank you for your word. Thank you that you're working in us. Thank you that you chose the route of us being an ongoing project of yours, where we partner with you, we're conscious of what you're doing, we cooperate with you, we can celebrate with you what your work is, and we can be convicted when we are not cooperating and be aware that you're disciplining us and it helps us to come back. And Father, I pray we would always come back because of your grace. In Jesus' name, amen.